Hey, we are back at RSA 2017 in San Francisco. I am Matt Stevenson with Silence, and I'm talking with Gabe Deal, our Vice President of Sales Engineering. Gabe, we just dropped a blog this week talking about ransomware as a service and how these guys are remixing previous ransomware hits into something new. What is so sinister about that compared to guys just dropping new bits of ransomware? Sure. Well, I don't know if I could speak to how sinister it is. What I can tell you is they appear to be falling prey to the same thing the rest of the industry is. They are trying to get products out to market while the market is still accessible and vulnerable to the types of attacks that they're leveraging. Well, and if they're often as a service, they've got customers, right? So they've got to get it out there. Well, and more importantly, they're trying to essentially create all the tools necessary to make it very easy to use, to monetize it, and get it into the hands of those who intend to use it. So that's what we're seeing a lot of. The interesting thing about their approach is that, again, they are following the industry the same way we are on the proactive side, trying to defend against these attacks. But what we're doing is a little bit different because we're using artificial intelligence. So we're actually, we can decode and understand the DNA that's associated. So if you continue to reuse previous versions of malware and crypto wall sets, we're going to be able to detect that very easily and identify it for what it is. So that when I say sampling, that's legitimately that. That's like a horn sample from Miles Davis. These guys are pulling bits from Crypto Wall that made it work and then adding some new bits around it. Yeah, that's exactly right. In fact, you know, one of the things that we saw is PadCrypt had some new capabilities in it for live chat. Believe it or not, so that they could actually provide better support to the people who are actually cryptoed. So we're seeing these new mechanisms, but in terms of the underlying components that are cryptoing the devices themselves, those components are being reused usually from Crypto Wall 3. That was a very, very popular set. So while we're seeing other things be added to it, we're able to identify that the DNA hasn't changed. And so we're able to identify it before it has an opportunity to execute. So these guys are building in their chat, their customer support. There's got to be a Yelp out there for bad guys or something like that. <laughs> Uh, we got a lot of good information on this. Make sure to check out the blog. It's in the comments below. Um, you can find us on Twitter, at Silence Inc., always at www.silence.com. If you're looking for Gabe out on the Twitters, you are? GDLeo. GDLeo. Uh, hashtag for the show this week is RSAC2017. All kinds of good stuff going on, so stick around.